to the 2013 HRKT Awards. I'm your host, the Spudgy. Yes, the Spudgy that the Golden Spudgy was based off of. Today's star-studded program will be broken into two parts, followed by the most glorious bloopers. And now to sing the opening theme song. My milkshake brings out a burst to we're starting off today with the award for Rookie of the Year. Well, last year we had a very close contest between BAP and EXO for the award. This year saw Eric Nam and the Bangtan boys duke it out, but ultimately only one could win, and that was none other than Eric Nam. Oh my God. Hi, I'm here at the EYK Studios, and I got my very, very first Golden Spudgy. Thank you so much to all my fans. It really means a lot. I know that the competition was very, very intense. So thank you so much for voting. It really means a lot to get Rookie of the Year. It's a award you can only get once. This is probably more important than president getting voted into office. Eating Mexican food in Mexico, like, I don't know. This is very, very, this is a big deal. Like, very big deal. And you can't have it, because it's mine. BTS, what, what, what? Sorry, I'm sorry. But thank you so much. Uh, hopefully I can continue to release some good music and a lot of stuff that you guys enjoy. So thank you so much for this golden spudgy. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't. You don't understand. What do I not understand, Busker Busker? <laughs> this is my category. This is not your category. Eric Nam, please listen to me. This is my category. I can't hear you, Busker Busker Brad. No, you don't understand. What do I not understand? Eric Nam, listen closely. I'm listening, Busker Busker Brad. This is my category. No, it is not your category. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you watched last year. This is ours. Listen. This, this is ours, Eric Nam. Listen, old man. This is not yours. This is definitely mine. Best Rookie of the Year, Eric Nam, Busker Busker Brad. No. I can't. I mean, you guys are great. You guys are really, I love your music. I went to your concert. You guys are awesome. But yeah. this is, this is mine. So I'm just going to hold it over here. Are you okay? No. What's wrong? I can't hold back the rage. The rage. The rage. The Rookie of the Year rage. The golden spudgy rage. Listen, I have a degree in tall white man counseling. I could help you. I did like, not know this. Yes. I can help you overcome this. Okay. All right. Eric Nam, yes, teach Buster. me the way. Okay. First, sit, sit down. Busker, okay. busker, bread. Let's, let's sit down. <laughs> Stroke the spudgy stomach. Breathe. Connect with the spudgy. Let it He is connecting with you. He is your avatar. There we go. Do you feel better? I do feel better, Eric Nam. Why? All this was good for you, Busker Busker Brad? No. Because while we're doing this, yes. my wife Danny took the golden spudgy. Connect, Connect with the spudgy. Do you feel better? Very good. Thank you, Eric. No! Our next batch of nominations is a bit more serious because it looks at some of the most interesting Korean music videos of the year. We're starting off with the best plot in a music video and the nod goes to Jin's Gone. Which I'm not sure why you all voted for it because it was really sad. Didn't last year's plot of the year also go to a really sad movie or something? What's up with the best plot equals the one that's gonna make you sob the most? And what's with all the dying in K-pop ballads? All right, don't worry, I got this. I'm gonna fix this entire music video, okay? Schumann's just gonna say, hey yo, I left my pills by the hottie while he was being dragged away and then nothing sad would happen. Question, why does Schumann sound like GD? No one will ever know. Point is, congratulations to Jin for the win. Next up on the list is the winner for the best artsy fartsy video of the year award. While the last category is more focused on telling a story, this category is more interested in symbolism and artsiness. Plot be damned. And the winner of this category goes to Geeks' really interesting video for Wash Away. In case you were confused, the water was a symbol for life. The hot girl was a symbol for pizza. Think about it. 네, 안녕하세요. 깁스입니다. Yes. 깁스입니다. 네. 저희가 가장 예술적인 뮤직비디오 상을 받았어요. 네. 그 영어로 RC 파시라는 상인데요. 
감사드리고요. 되게 투표해 주신 거 되게 고맙게 생각하고 이거 뭐야 상도 받았는데 Eat your kimchi 하고 개가 있어요. <웃음> 음. 어쨌든 네 감사드립니다. 네 같이 어, 고생해 주신 스태프분들 어, 모든 분들 정말 음. 감사하고 앞으로도 더 멋있는 음악과 또 뮤직비디오를 만들도록 하겠습니다. 여러분 정말 감사합니다. 그렇죠. <웃음> for most bizarre music video of the year, which pretty much took the very esteemed concepts of plot and symbolism in a music video and then slapped them both in the face and told them to go to hell. No video did this better than Top's Doom Dada. It caused a lot of people to scratch their heads and say, what? But this video on first glance might look crazy, but it is so, so, so painfully thought out. Doom Dada can be seen as a reference to Dada or Dadaism, which is an avant-garde art movement, an art movement that birthed postmodern art, abstract art, and and surrealism, and Top uses surrealism and abstract art throughout the entire video, including images from Kim Wonky and Salvador Dali. And while introducing pieces of artwork in the video, they also take a life of their own, interacting with Top in various ways. Top also alludes to a variety of critically important films that come from various countries, all of which have been very influential films, such as The Leper, Doctor Strangelove, Brazil, 2001 Space Odyssey, The Cabinet of Doctor Caligari, The Blair Witch Project, and even The Zoltrope, which would eventually birth motion pictures to begin with, and the common thread in entire music video is Top, who seems to be traveling through all these various artistic time periods and eras, seeing himself evolve from ape to man and back again, but always bringing music and rap with him, while also leading the evolutionary pack, which could also allude to something simple like him being ahead of the rap pack. But in combination with his lyrics, it could also portray a deeper message, one which is urging people to return to music as an art form that can make an impact on the world rather than just for money. <sighs> Top loves art. I love art. Therefore, Top loves me. Wait. I might have missed something there. No, I think it's all right. A job well done. Analysis at its best. When it comes to sexiness in K-pop, every year seems to be pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable and what will get you banned. For the next category of the nastiest video in K-pop, we're looking at what video's overwhelming sexiness. Had you finished a video, pause for a second and say, Ooh, you're so nasty. The winner for this category was none other than Troublemakers Now, which had sex, violence, and vomiting all in one video. Nasty. But just for argument's sake, did you guys happen to watch all the videos on the nomination playlist? Because I'm not sure if you saw Nom's a guys, but that video took nastiness to a whole new level. I wonder what it'll be like if they would have won. I wonder what it'll be like if they would have won. It's time for some more fangirling and fangorilla. Oh no, I wouldn't want to be interrupted by some sexy boys. Or would I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey boys, uh, you should come down to me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Hey, come back here. I want to lick your butts. Come here, guys. Ah, it's so greasy and like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> you and me. Yeah. <laughs>